Hi, we're off the coast of Newfoundland and I'm here to talk about species. This is a species, an individual that's part of the rock crab species. And all the rock crabs in this rocky intertidal zone are a rock crab population. I'll let this guy go. There's also snails here. This is a particular species of snail. I don't know what it is, but this species, all the individuals of this species make up a population of snails in this particular tidal pool right here that I'm standing in, in the inter, rocky intertidal zone here in the North Atlantic Ocean on the coast of Newfoundland. When you put all the different populations together, the populations of El brown algae that are around me, snails, crabs, eels, all the things that live in this rocky intertidal zone, you have an ecosystem. And an ecosystem can be defined in a number of ways. Just this, if we draw boundaries around this small tidal pool that I'm standing in, that itself can be an ecosystem. So we have individuals that are one species that make up a population. You put those populations together, they make a community. And when you add the abiotic factors, like the temperature of the water, the sun, the wind, the water itself, all the things that are not living, that makes an ecosystem. And the name of this ecosystem is the Rocky Intertidal Ecosystem. It's the zone between the land and the sea. And the tide goes in and out. In a few hours, water will be up to here and I won't be here anymore. So this is the Rocky Intertidal Ecosystem. It's got individuals, populations, communities that make up an ecosystem. This is Miss R signing off from Newfoundland.